we seen it we heard it i meant to say coming we heard about this happening earlier this week at least alex jones was letting me know uh that he had a source that was alluding to rfk actually going ahead and endorsing donald trump and this is what the left hates to see right here man uh you have somebody like um who's running as a Democrat, who jumps off of that Democrat uh, uh, ticket just to endorse a Republican ticket. Oh, man, you got to love it. The perfect storm, right? Uh, we have a country to save people. We do. And uh, this is history in the making. Definitely. They made history last night. That intro, the interest was the energy, that aura energy was sickening. So sickening that I woke out of bed, woke up out of bed and forgot to uh I'm sure y'all, you know, your boy going to be wrinkled today, but it's all good. We, we witnessing history. Uh, let me read a few comments. Fantastic. And RFK Jr. deserves it so much putting in his person, putting his personal goal aside and make that move for the American people. Amen to that. Uh, what else we got? Uh, uh, this could be the political mashup of the century. Imagine a cabinet of anti-establishment rock stars, RFK Jr., Vivek, uh, Tosi Gabber, Elon Musk. We might actually have a winning shot at taking our country back. Somebody said watching them join each other on stage was like watching two halves of the country come together. Uh, it's time for us to unite. Amen to that. So much so that oh this right here is a great display of how we're supposed to interact with each other you know hug something huh but guess who's not too happy about all of this uh cnn and msnbs yes they cut away from the rfk jr announcement you know why because they are panicking pictures from phoenix arizona where kennedy is expected to say publicly what he's already made official in a court filing that he will endorse donald trump Perhaps no coincidence, uh, Trump is set to hold a campaign rally tonight with a special unnamed guest in Glendale, Arizona. That's just 20 minutes from where RFK is right now. Joining me now, New York Times investigative reporter Suzanne Craig, MSNBC contributor Jonathan Alter, who's written extensively about RFK Jr. To now dropping out and uh, relinquishing the title of uh, Democrat. He, he had a, a series of uh, complaints about the party. Uh, we're, of course, going to continue watching his remarks. There's a back and forth over whether he's going to endorse former President Donald Trump. We're going to break that down on the other side of a quick break. Stay with Cena. Shout out to Dr. Steve Turley because he pointed this out so perfect. It was the same thought that I had. He literally called them out for censoring him in the address and they responded to him by cutting him off from his address. <laughs> fake news man uh they said uh this is how you know what our fk jr just did is fantastic somebody else says trump plus rk jr too big to rig yeah man you got both forces somebody who's definitely uh well i don't know did he relinquish his him being a democrat i don't i can't remember that exactly uh did he say he was no longer a democrat I don't remember that exactly. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Help your boy out. Somebody said too much truth is coming out of that M out of uh, MSM and they can't handle it. This is a huge step in the right direction, making 2024 uh, like the 2024 election too big too rig. All right. Now we're going to start getting into the heart and soul of a lot of what uh, RFK RFK uh, Jr. was you know, saying he shocked mainstream media reporters by formally saying the Democrat Party is now a party of corruption, big tech, big donors, etc. This is definitely history. I attended my first Democratic convention at the age of six in 1960. And back then, the Democrats were the champions of the Constitution, of civil rights. The Democrats stood against authoritarianism, against censorship 
against colonialism, imperialism, and unjust wars. We were the party of labor, of the working class. The Democrats were the party of government transparency and the champion of the environment. Our party was the bulwark against big money interests and corporate power. True to its name, it was the party of democracy. As you know, I left that party in October because it had departed so dramatically. Well, that just answered one question that I just had prior to watching this. The core values that I grew up with, it had become the party of war, censorship, corruption, big pharma, big tech, big ag, and big money. When it abandoned democracy by canceling the primary to conceal the cognitive decline of the sitting president, I left the party to run as an independent. The mainstream of American politics and journalism derided my decision. Conventional wisdom said that it would be impossible even to get on the ballot as an independent because each state poses an insurmountable tangle of arbitrary rules for collecting signatures. I would need over a million signatures, something no presidential candidate in history had ever achieved. And then I need a team of attorneys and millions of dollars to handle all the legal challenges from the DNC. The, nader, the naysayers told us that we were climbing a glass version of Mount Impossible. So the first thing I want to tell you is that we proved them wrong. We did it because beneath the radar of mainstream media organs, we inspired a massive independent political movement. It was Reagan. Or I think it wasn't it Reagan who said the Democratic Party left him? Something like that? I could be wrong. But I, I remember hearing that quote from somebody like that, uh, one of the presidents. But yeah, man, this right here is a moment. Definitely. Uh, so some people, he signed into a patriot right before they very eyes uh, for making this, you know, switch right here. Thank God for truth actually, you know, peeking through, though, and him exposing, you know, the Democrat Party for who they are to the modern, to modern Democrats, today's Democrat Party. Of course, we know the history of the Democrat Party and that ain't beautiful either. <laughs> But we can clearly say that in these last, like, last 10 years, boy, it, the Democrats went from, huh, to, huh, it's, uh, it's crazy, bro. Uh, Harris had her attention grabbing the motion uh, convention, but she let her edge slip away like a balloon, I'm reading, obviously. Now, Trump, Vance, and RFK Jr. have grabbed the spotlight again. She's yesterday news. Didn't even remember even having to bring up Kamala for this whole video up until that point, right? Yeah. I, I, so I guess that, that's proven some points right there. I hope he has protection. It's sad that the mainstream media chooses not to air the announcement live. Obviously, man, they're going to cut it off and do everything they can do, you know what I'm saying, to make it seem like, oh, my God, this is a horrible move on his end. But RFK Jr. explains how the food industry is poisoning us and making our children sick. And this is probably, uh, this is the segment that I, I thought was... A, incredibly important because you know somebody who's been dieting losing weight yada 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 i've been at been learning about the food industry and things of that nature and i'm so happy that he shed light on this check it out assets that we have in this country how can we let this happen to them about 18 percent of american teens now have fatty liver disease that's like one out of every five that disease when i was a kid only affected late stage alcoholics who are elderly. Cancer rates are skyrocketing in the young and the old. Young adult cancers are up 79%. One in four American women is on antidepressant medication. 40% of teens have, a mental, teens have a mental health diagnosis. And 15% of high schoolers are on Adderall and half a million children on SSRIs. So what's causing this suffering? I'll name two culprits. First and the worst is ultra-processed food. About 70% of American children's diet is ultra-processed. That means industrial manufacturing in a factory. These foods consist primarily of processed sugar, ultra-processed grains, 
and seed oils. Laboratory scientists, who form, many of them formerly worked for the cigarette industry, which purchased all the big food companies in the 1970s and 80s, deployed thousands of scientists to figure out chemicals, new chemicals, to make the food more addictive. And these ingredients didn't exist 100 years ago. They, humans aren't biologically adapted to eat them. Hundreds of these chemicals are now banned in Europe, but ubiquitous in American processed foods. The second culprit is toxic chemicals in our food, in our medicine, in our environment. Pesticides, food additives, pharmaceutical drugs, and toxic waste permeate every cell of our bodies. The assault on our children's cells and hormones is unrelenting. And name just one problem. Many of these chemicals increase estrogen because young children are ingesting so many of these hormone disruptors. America's puberty rate is now occurring at age 10 to 13, which is six years earlier than girls were reaching puberty in 1900. Our country has the earliest puberty rates of any continent on the earth. And no, this isn't because of better nutrition. This is not normal. Breast cancer is also estrogen driven and it now strikes one in eight women. We are mass poisoning all of our children and our adults. Now this is something that personally, um, I, I'd find to be very important. Hold on, excuse me. <coughs> 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 <laughs> Woo. Woo. Um, I was saying, pers I think I'm going to sneeze again. I think I'm going to sneeze again. Hold on. <laughs> Woo. Excuse me, y'all. But I was saying personally, this is something that made me, it was a turning point for me when I heard uh, this, this segment because I'm sitting like, yeah, man, this is something that's incredibly important and nobody's talking about it. Of course, mainstream media isn't going to talk about it. Um, and as AKA pointed out, Democrats don't care. They only care about votes. They don't care about the fact that, you know, this country is you know, obesity driven. We have all these heart disease problems, you know, diabetic problems and all this. And it comes from this food it come from the poisoning that's happening that's been put in these foods i try to do my best to make sure that i give my children as much whole foods as possible as many vegetables as possible you know fiber and protein on a regular basis that's usually you know what i aim for but amongst you know making sure they got enough calcium and vitamins and things of that nature but you know they don't i realized while on my journey of getting healthy that uh america don't want us healthy you know because sick people are eating easier to control and um it isn't about politics it's about taking back you know our health right now and that's what we seriously got like I, i'll probably end up starting a farm back in my backyard or something like that i don't know you but anyhow rfk jr endorsed donald trump salute welcome